Hey guys, what's going on? This is Drum Rat Tech here, and today, welcome to another episode of my React series. So, if you didn't watch my last video, basically, what I do is I watch a, like, um, music videos, top 10 lists from the amazing watchmojo.com, which I am going to watch right now, which we are going to watch right now, and just react to them, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And today, we are going to be watching Top 10 Most Shocking Myths in Music. Now, I haven't seen this, so it's a bit of a surprise, a a surprise for me. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. These stories are the stuff of legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking myths in rock music. Turn we? Number 10, child actor turned antichrist. That was my best friend, Paul Pfeiffer. Paul was allergic to everything. It's not as wild as the myth that says Marilyn Manson had ribs removed to facilitate oral sex on himself. But picturing a young Brian Warner on the Wonder Years is just as nutty. What are you crazy? Despite the stark contrast between the wholesome Paul Pfeiffer and the Antichrist superstar's image, yeah, it's hard to deny like the physical resemblances. But it's actually Josh Saviano who played Kevin Arnold's best friend, so put this rumor to rest. Okay, maybe it's a dumb idea. Number nine. Dying to live. You'd be so lonely, you could die. Sometimes diehard fans have trouble letting go, especially Elvis fans. On August 23rd of 1991, I saw Elvis Presley at Winesburg Inn in Clyde, Ohio. Inconsistencies on his death certificate caused some to suggest the king faked his death. And tabloids are full of people who claim to have seen him in the flesh. Fake death theories are also attached to Jim Morrison since his body was never autopsied. Well, he's dead. And Tupac, who keeps releasing new music that fans believe references future events. Number eight, psychedelic bandanas. Jimmy was almost as famous for his drug use as he was for his guitar skills, so it's not crazy to think he found a way to combine them. Rumor has it, the guitar great hid LSD under his bandanas while performing and absorbed the acid through self-inflicted cuts in his forehead. I don't know how you should do that. But that's not all. The shady circumstances surrounding his death encouraged a persistent rumor that Hendrix was murdered. Number seven, he sold his soul for rock and roll. Robert Johnson's complex style made him a legend. And the devil. What's also legendary is how the king of Mississippi Delta Blues allegedly got his skills by selling his soul to the devil. Why don't you sell your soul to me? How much you got? Five bucks? Deal. Some point to his short life and songs like Me and the Devil as Proof, but others know it was natural talent and hard work. Me and the devil. Another musician who allegedly made a deal with the devil? Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page. Number six, full of semen's semen. While this legend's been attributed to Elton John, Alanis Morissette, Lil' Kim, and more. It's most famously connected to Rod Stewart. The story goes that the Brit was <clears throat> servicing a fleet of sailors when he had to go to the hospital to get his stomach pumped of all the excess fluid. I know I keep you in you, but I feel I'm being used. 
Though the singer-songwriter maintains a fired assistant concocted this bogus tale, he still asked about it. I remember that when I was a child, hearing oh. that rumor. <laughs> Number five. Um, Cow got your tongue? Someone help me. I'm Amid not kisses that. loud and famous music, eye-catching costumes, and on-stage antics, Gene Simmons made tongue-wagging his signature move. <laughs> Appendage quickly caught the attention of fans and groupies for its unusual length, and soon stories spread that the demon had had a cow's tongue attached to his own. <laughs> but don't worry, it wasn't true and it wasn't possible. Simmons' tongue looked nothing like a cow's, and medicine wasn't that advanced then anyway. <laughs> Number four, a bloody good time. Years of substance abuse led Keith Richards to want a clean slate. The solution, a blood purification procedure. But his status as a member of the world's greatest rock and roll band meant the media hounded him about it. So he fabricated an outrageous tale claiming doctors changed his blood with a new supply. Another Richards anecdote, the Stones guitarist also said he snorted his father's ashes. You did in fact do it. I ingested my ancestor, yes. Number three, Paul is dead. The Beatles were the subject of many rumors, including one where they smoked up at Buckingham Palace. After an American University paper said the cute one died in a car crash and was replaced by a lookalike, oh, no. the story picked up steam with help from radio stations and clues in the Fab Four's lyrics and album art. So this started some rumor that because he was barefooted, he's dead. <laughs> I couldn't see the connection myself. I don't... While he was in an accident, Mac is alive and going strong today. Number two, Courtney killed Kurt. When a shotgun and note were found near Kurt Cobain's lifeless body, most accepted the Nirvana frontman's death as suicide. But conspiracy theorists cried murder. Journalists and filmmakers took this idea further by suggesting his wife Courtney Love was behind it all. See the El Duce interview in Kurt and Courtney. You did some deal with Courtney, right? Yeah. Well, she offered me 50 grand to whack Kurt Cobain. Yeah, I was telling you. However, well, he most have concluded days, there isn't enough evidence to support the murder claim. Someday, really I think she did. I think she did. Number one. Off with their heads. As an incredible showman known for shocking theatrics, the Prince of Darkness was used to animal carcasses on stage. After all, the godfather of heavy metal bit off a dove's head during a CBS Records meeting. But his Whoa. fans probably Whoa. thought he was batshit crazy when he bit a bat's head off. And make no mistake, this was no rubber toy and no myth. I thought it was one of those like, Halloween rubber things, and I just bit into it, and it was a real bat. After the bat bit back, Ozzy was tested for rabies. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most shocking rock myth? Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top ten. So that kind of sort of, well, not sort of, that does wrap up our, the second episode from my React series. Um, that's kind of it. So please don't forget to like, please like, please subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the first few seeing by me, Drum Rap Tech, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.